This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Howard versus Osley. You've been together five years. You have one child together and another on the way. Tell me why you have initiated your case today, Ms. Howard. Well, I'm here today to, to prove that Quentin, he is cheating with my cousin. Ooh. With your the cousin? cousin? Yes, my first cousin. Oh. oh, no. We're the only two females. That is messy, messy, messy. Mr. Osley, you gotta respond to that. No, I gotta hear about this. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. It's not it's, true. You it's got a made up story. You said you're not involved with her cousin. At all. You're not cheating with her or anybody else for that matter, are nope. you? No, sir. And you're here to prove that today yes. to her once and for all. I'm, I'm here because I'm tired of hearing about it. It's like from day one since I met her, I've been here. You, oh, you're cheating with my cousin. Right. From day her, one, the first day she's This has been a cloud my house. over this relationship the whole time. And hey, look, she's got a baby on the way. What does that feel like? It feels devastating. I'm, I'm hurt because I have a 10-month a, a by him already baby, baby boy, and then I have another baby boy on the way. I'm seven months. I'm hurt because this is my life. You're seven months pregnant. You think he's sleeping with your cousin. So not only are you talking about potentially a relationship between you two, but you're talking about a family relationship yes, being family. destroyed. And we both have our oldest sons. So Wait, we're all a family. So all of that is in jeopardy today. Yes. Based on what evidence we hear and uncover in this courtroom. Miss Howard, you have a book in your hand. Is that a Bible? Yes, ma'am. Tell me about why you have a Bible. Because this is where all my faith is. I feel like God is my witness. Mm -hmm. He know where I'm coming from. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where that comes from. All right, so you, this there is your support. Yes. In this time. Yes. And you know, oftentimes it's like not a specific person, but you have a specific person, that being your cousin. Why is that? Why do you believe it's your cousin? Because how she approached herself. The first visit, the first visit, you knew I had a man. You heard him in the background. She came to visit you? Yes, the first day, yes. And he was in the house with me. We were starting our relationship moving in together. So you all are moving into a new place, yes. you and Mr. Osley. Yes. And your cousin comes over. Yes. And what happens when she comes over? First thing, she was dressed inappropriate. She had on her tight V-neck tights with her uh, things showing down there. Ooh. Clean leavage out. Just the whole cat bodysuit. Mm -hmm. So okay, why, now, was, was she so helping she you move in? She wasn't over there for me. Was, was she, she helping you move in? She because, never met me, so how would she I be mean, there for me? Because she knew a man that was in the picture. But here's the thing. He can't control what she's wearing. Yes, that's so, true. So, you know, you... She comes over, she's dressed inappropriately. That's not his fault. That's a decision she made. Okay. Okay, I mean, so why do you think it was more to it than just the way she was dressed? Okay, well, first off... She came over. She's a big drinker. Okay. So she came over with her bottles ready to get me drunk, basically. Get you drunk? Yes. Okay. Why do you think she was trying to get you drunk? Because I can't. I told her that I'm a light drinker. Okay. So we, we kind of went overboard a little bit. And it's kind of like more of a manipulating thing. Okay. So we was in the kitchen and la-da-da-da-da, drinking. You know, next thing you know, I passed out. All right. And then I woke up and I seen her above me and I'm looking everywhere. Where's Quentin at? Okay. I look down the hallway. Where he at? In the next living room, walking around. Okay. And I ask her, how did I get here? Oh, I dragged you back here. I'm but just, it was just trying to her. understand. Are you, are you thinking that she was trying to get you drunk so she could be with him? Yes. And you think that she wow. slept with him that night? Yes, I do. Okay, you so while that. you were passed out... While I was passed out, they got, they got it all. Your man slept with your cousin. Yes. Mr. Osley, this is my question. Did you sleep with her cousin no. that night? No. That didn't happen. At all. At all. At all. She just made that up. She, she made, Don't know where she, she got made, that she from. She made the part of us sleeping together up because... The situation is like, just because you passed out and how your cousin is dressed, you're saying, oh, we had to do something with her. And you're saying that didn't happen? No. Okay. Miss Howard, her. do you have any other proof that your cousin is, in fact, the one he's cheating with? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me about that. Incident, me and him both were sleeping in bed one night. This is another night she spent the night. So, he wakes me up, taps me on my shoulder, tells me my cousin is stripping butt naked. What? <laughs> She's so, what? Uh, stripping. So okay. what I do is I look. She's actually stripping her clothes. I said, John Keithia, what she do? Fall over, hit the floor. 
That's not so, how it wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're in the bed sleep. He wakes you up, and your cousin both together. is stripping her clothes off. Yes, in the hallway. In, your be- in the hallway or your in bedroom? A, in the doorway, basically. In the, door in the doorway, doorway to the, the bedroom. Doorway right here. Is this I'm, true? I'm innocent. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling you straight up. I'm innocent. Because... Is, I don't know. Situation. I don't know about that, Mr. Osley. The situation was all three of us was watching a movie. She's laying on the floor or whatever, sleep. Me and Kiki's in the bed or whatever like that, sleep or whatever. So, boom, I hear the boom, I wake up. So, when I turn to look towards the, the, the doorway of our room, Shade standing there fully dressed at the moment. So, I'm like, Shade, what you doing? She immediately starts taking her clothes off. She had her eyes closed, though, but she starts taking her clothes off. So, boom, she starts caressing her body or whatever. Starts playing with herself. So right like, there, right there in, in front, front of you. Of me, okay, baby. in the doorway doing okay. this. Okay. So, what did you do? I you woke her up. Like, and baby, said what? what is your cousin doing? <laughs> So you think the cousin yeah. was coming at, was kind of trying to get your attention? Try, try, basically trying to have sex, basically. If you and you, say, and you say you did somebody. the right thing by saying, hey, look, look at what's going on. Exactly, you because your cousin, this is the person that's trying to get me. She's right. trying to get me to do something. And you've never done anything with this cousin. You know, nope. but here's my thing. You already had this issue with this cousin. Why in the world are you letting her spend the night again? That's a good question. That's a good question. Me and her both, your honor. We've both been going through a lot. Our whole family is, you know, discombobulated, and I'm trying to get to know my family. This is the only female in the family, and I felt like me and her was trying to reach out to each other. But in the midst, I got my man, and I'm starting a relationship with him. And of course, she's a female, so, you know, I wouldn't think that my own cousin would, you know, turn around on me like that, purposely wise. But if you see it with your own eyes, like. Well, I get it. Come on now, you and then you're but accusing me of In the, the time. midst of trying to get to know her, she, you believe she's now sleeping with your man? Yes, I do. Well, there's your side, there's Mr. Osley's side, and there's your cousin's side. She is here to testify to that. Rob, would you start the witness here? Yes, ma'am. Go right up to the witness stand. Good day, ma'am. How are you? I'm all right. Miss Wheaton, you've uh, been listening to the testimony? Of course I have. All right. Did you come over the day they were moving in dressed provocatively? I remember exactly what I had on. I had on some white tights and I had on a black shirt. I remember it was cold outside. I had snow boots on. You know, I came over dressed appropriately. It was not too cold outside. It was cold outside. Did you come with alcohol? Stop interrupting me. You already had your chance. Did you have alcohol? (laughs) Yes, I did. And then she know I didn't come over to get her drunk. She told me she was dehydrated. That's why she passed out. How do you feel to know that your cousin, your first cousin, is accusing you of sleeping with her boyfriend? She's off in the head. (laughs) But how do you feel about it? I feel hurt, but... I done got a little used to it. You know, she's my you cousin. You got used to strip? I'm not finished. She is my cousin. I, I'm not finished. I'm Ms. Howard, Ms. Howard, Ms. Howard we are Wait. trying to get her testimony. Yes, ma'am. I will be quiet for you. All right, thank you. Do you feel that Mr. Osley is attracted to you? Yes, I do. I was on uh, the couch sleep downstairs, and I get woken up out of my sleep, and I have slop on my chest. And he has my hand. He tells me to come upstairs. And I told him no. And I was woken up twice out of my sleep that day. I mean, that night. And I never did get up. Okay. I stayed asleep. So he came what? on to you? Yes, he did. What, what was he a... doing to you? You said you had slobber on your chest. Obviously, he was kissing on my chest while I was asleep. So he was how, kissing how do you your know breasts. If I was kissing on your chest or not? Because you had slobber on my chest. What else would you be doing? How, anybody could have put that there. Who? Wasn't what, 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 nobody else How you know it's me? But you admitted to if Kiki you, that if, you did it. So please, please, you how do you know it's me? First off, I okay, didn't hold tell on. you. Hold on, hold on. At the on. end of the day, he admitted to Kiki that he did it. So that clears all that up right there. Did on you your admit that? Either. I admitted it, but I'm saying, how did you know that I had anything to do? You're saying you just what woke up. What does it matter? You just woke up. I, what I want to know is how did her breast fall into your mouth? Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you the story from the beginning to the end. Anyway, me, me, me and Kiki was having sex, right? So while we're having sex or whatever, Sade's downstairs on the couch or whatever, sleep. 
she tells me to go down there and check on her. I'm like, what you telling me to check on her for or whatever like that? She's like, you know how my cousin because is. Because you don't be. picked her up numerous times. She passed out. That's, that's basically why she told that's me to go, check, go on check on her, on her. I know how my cousin is. Okay, anyway, so wait, wait, wait. So, you said she says that now. What did she say at the time? Okay, at the time, me and her were having sex. So why would you send me downstairs when you're already accusing me of me and her having sex? Why in the world would you tell him to go check on your cousin in the middle of your we intimate first moment? Off, we were not having sex. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was trying to get some, but I want. Yeah. I wasn't trying to do nothing at she that point in time. Who was having sex? Okay, you well, it too, don't matter. I said it. go check on my cousin. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. Hold. The light bulb just went off in my head. Okay, because I'm sitting here going, what? <laughs> Mr. Osley, were you trying to get a threesome together? Oh. I basically... The, the I, situation... The situation is... Ron what, was, oh. think, look, Ron was thinking it. Ron Girl, was thinking it. Like, it, just, it, just, it, just, yeah, it just went off in my head. Okay, but I'm... Wait a minute, hold up. Hold on, hold Why on, would on. you go there? <laughs> it didn't make sense. Okay, All because... Right, you guys have it to do later. <laughs> because here's the thing. He says they were having sex. She says they weren't having... She, he was trying, but she wasn't interested. So he was I trying to do something to get her interested. God. So he went down to get the cousin. He tried uh, to. I didn't want her up there, and she didn't want to be up there. Uh-huh. So, Mr. Osley... <laughs> so you wanted to have a threesome with your girl and her cousin. No, I didn't want to have a threesome, but all these different occasions is basically making me lead on to that point to where it's like... I feel like y'all want, like, a three-way relationship or something like... So, Miss Howard, the evidence that we've heard today is that she came over the first time you all moved in together. She came in dressed inappropriately. You believe she got you drunk to sleep with him and, in fact, did so. The other is that he admitted to you that he had sucked on her breast. Yes. Uh, the final thing is that the night that you all... you went up to his bedroom, he went down to talk to your cousin. You think he was trying to sleep yes, with her? Yes, because I, I kept calling him, but he never came back to the bed with me. Based on all of this, you believe that Mr. Osley is sleeping with your first cousin? Yes. And if he is sleeping with your cousin, your family is going to be destroyed. You will lose your cousin, and you already yeah, have I a child or an expecting yeah, another. Is that correct? We don't even yes, speak yes, no Your more. Honor. Because just because it is. All right. Well, that's what we here. have, Mr. Cutler. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles and licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt into the courtroom to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort them in. Gentlemen. Platt on this side of the mountain. Our whole team of experts. How are you, gentlemen? How you doing, Your Honor? Good, good. Thanks for being here. Mr. Eccles, can you tell us what you did to investigate the cheating allegations in this case? Yes, Your Honor. I sat in a room with Ms. Osley, posing as a person who was coming to court who was accused of cheating. My goal was to find out if Mr. Osley was cheating himself. All right. Can you tell us about your interaction with Mr. Osley? Well, Your Honor, from the start, Mr. Osley was very comfortable with me. It is clear that Mr. Osley is a sexual charged individual. He spoke to me in length about doing threesomes, and there were some other behaviors that I found to be very questionable. Because there are still questions to further investigate this matter, we had Mr. Osley to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Mr. Platt, you conducted that polygraph examination, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Osley was asked, during your five-year relationship with Ms. Howard, have you ever had sexual intercourse with her cousin, John Keithia Sade Wheaton? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that... The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Bisexual intercourse, what does that mean? <laughs> what, what I'm talking about as far as, like, even him putting his hand, putting his mouth on my chest. Girl, you wasn't no good. Girl, girl, you, <laughs> you cheated, too. You don't even know if your baby is. Shut what the hell? Oh! I bet you we could do a DNA test and it's his. You just jealous. You wanted my girl, relationship. You, 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 you 
she has said that y'all gonna be done. You, the only way that you could potentially make this work is if you come clean. I told her what I did. I told her already. But the thing that I told her that I cheated on her, she already knows that. I don't get how I'm getting deceptive or whatever. I want you to look at Miss Howard, though. Look at her. Look in her eyes. I'll be real with you, though, bro. It's okay. I got God the, with the me. Time, the time other than what I told you, ain't nothing else happening. Because happen. he my witness. I'm with God. I'm in a better place. But you being deceptive hey, you supposed in the court, though. But you being deceptive okay in the court. Because I'm right. in it from day Girl, you one. Girl, you been deceptive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nothing from day one. And guess what? Thank you. When, I'm you're, sorry. You can't even Thank talk about it. I'm sorry. Miss Howard. Miss Howard. I'm sorry. Miss Howard, you came here to get answers. And you've gotten answers. Thank you. What do you want to do with this relationship with Mr. Osley? He just could take care of his kids. I'm going to just live, you know, do better. What do you want to do with this relationship <laughs> with Ms. Wheaton? That's been over. That been over, sir. You all have been together for five years. You're engaged. And Ms. Lewis, you've been married twice before. But whether you take that trip down the aisle a third time all depends on the outcome of today's proceeding. That's Is that right? right? That's right. All right, you've initiated this case. Tell us why. Well, I'm too old for the cheating. All I'm asking for is honesty. And like I always say, the same way you got this woman is the same way you got to keep her. Do the same thing. <laughs> and we used to have some fun. So you believe that he's cheating. What does that feel like to you? What, how does that affect you? It hurts. Okay. Because Tell me about I that. try to do everything for this man. Show him how much I love him. Okay. I get up five o'clock in the morning. Whoa. And how many women gonna get up, fix their man, coffee, <clears throat> breakfast, and lunch? Plus, I have to go to work myself. <laughs> Woo! Well, you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna just say, Miss Lewis, Lewis, Lewis I, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I know that's what everybody tell me, but I do it because I love him. And I want to Your show honor. him how much I love him and what I would do <clears throat> to keep him, but I'm not going to keep doing it if he's not going to be faithful. I understand. <clears throat> well, Mr. Weiss, she says she's too old for this. What do you have to say about it? <clears throat> I'm too old for it. I mean, because when I'm at a friend's house, uh, she peeping around the bush, and they said, there go your old lady. I, I said, I, I know she was coming, but... Uh, and then, so is he like, following you around like a detective or something? All the time. I, I'm just tired of it. It's like I'm in prison in my own house and... Do right. You know, I have to feel like that. See, that's why I had to put up with Ms. it. Ms. Lewis, are you treating him like a prisoner in his own home? No. He feels well, that one, way. one, he'll tell me he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. And first of all, if he never cheated <clears throat> and lied about it, everything will be okay. I've been married twice. I got eight kids oh, by boy. four different baby mama. What's new out there to me? And like you said, I mean, you've been out there, you've been there, done that. This is the woman for yes. you. Yes, yes. That's all I do. I work, I come home, I call her on my break. I mean, she want me to call her on my first break, second break, lunch break, my food in the microwave. I don't need to get time <laughs> to eat because she want to talk. Not only can you not get a break at work, you can't get a break from not calling her. That's right. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you may have done some stuff in the past, but as it relates to your relationship right now with Miss Lewis, you said you're not cheating, you're not, not cheating. cheating anybody else? No, and mostly all I do is fish. And she know where I fish at, because she take me there. And I, I'm on the phone more than, more than I'm fishing. You know how older guys do. I, I mean, I'm 51. Uh, That's older? Well, uh, 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 <laughs> you still young? <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Color, you older. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just put it out there. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop off maybe like, you know, 70, 75. He's like, you know how older guys are, you know. I'm <laughs> Wait a minute, he older than you, so you know. So Wait, what does that make me? My husband. <laughs> good answer, good recovery, good recovery. So here's the thing. But, but, yeah, hold on, love. I, you know, y'all are kind of cute to me. Really? I'm looking at this look at her face. Yeah, y'all like, kind of cute. She got me. hands so I, on the hip. I mean, yeah, I mean, she tight about this, but I know you said he did something to get you and you want him to go back to doing it. Tell me how you two met. I saw him on Facebook. I looked at his picture. Uh-huh. But what I did, I texted in there, talked about the fish. 
But the whole time he wanted the fish, I was checking out. <laughs> if you were trying to reel something else in. Yeah. Okay, you can I call me a cougar because I am 12 years older than him. But... What? Uh oh. But. You don't <laughs> look nothing older than him. Go, girl. <laughs> Keep using whatever you're doing. Thank you. All right. And I liked what I saw. Uh -huh. And we had a lot in common. And when I text him, I was like, is this man gonna even text me back? Right. So I waited a week, I did it again. So he finally messaged me, and we used to talk on the messenger, then we started talking to each other, and it was amazing. <laughs> I was really, smiling. truly Look, I know, I mean, the big that. grin. Yeah. I mean, both of them grin, and I like it. I like, it. okay, tell me about this. You get this message from this cute babe, so what happened? Okay, it, it took a minute for me to uh, actually respond back because, you know, I want to make sure this was something I wanted to do. Right. But I told her I was not driving a car, I was driving a scooter. But that was all right with me. So I'm riding 25 miles... On a scooter? On a scooter, and had to go to work just to come visit her. And we ate breakfast, we talked, and by the time I had to ride another 24 miles back to my job... Right. Running late, but... But wasn't it worth it? It, it was well worth it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so you driving on a scooter. Yes. Girl, what you put in the eggs? I don't know. <laughs> but I got to find out again what I put in them, because um, I'm you not need getting to get that same track. treatment again. All right, all right. So now you yes. think he's fishing for other women, basically. Yes. He, he in another lake, and it ain't yours. There you go. All right. So, Ms. Lewis, it sounds like if you're following him, it seems like everywhere he goes and, you know, he's always having to check in by phone with you, it doesn't seem like he even has time to cheat. So why do you think he's cheating? He talks in his sleep. Oh. <laughs> okay, yes, he does. What do you, what do you mean he talks in his sleep? Well, I'm thinking, you know, okay, he's asleep. I'm watch, laying in the bed, watch a little TV. I hear him talking about, oh, I can't catch the, the female name. Then he's talking about, I can't talk right now. She here. Yo, then he'll go back to... Okay, wait a minute. Then he'll be like, ooh, fat booty. Oh. This is... Yo, this is okay, the... Wait, hold, wait hold on, minute, hold, hold on. on. This, hold I, on. I, I know he ain't I, talking about me. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me go back. You in bed, he's in bed. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you awake, mm -hmm. and he sleep. Yes, Your Honor. All right, go to sleep, so, fella. So, oh, wait so, a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see how this is. Go to sleep. And so you sit and watch TV. Oh, uh, big booty. And you just kind of look at him? And I'll be ready. By the time I grab my phone to record it, I mess up and wake him up. So you can't get a, can't get a recording of what he's saying. Right. But you... But, you, but, you but should... I'm listening, and I can hear it very clearly. It happens regularly? It's happened a couple Your, of times. I am sleep. All right. <laughs> so this has happened more than once. Yes. And you think these are conversations, he's rehashing conversations he's actually had with them? Yes. And when you say had with them, he's being with these women while he's with if you. he's not, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't have to be physically with that woman to be cheating. Uh -huh. You could be on that phone talking to her. Right. And that's still disrespectful. That's still cheating. I don't do it, and I don't expect for him to do it to me. Well, Mr. Weiss, whose big booty are you dreaming about? That's what I'm wondering. You're wondering too. You're wondering to sleep. I gotta ask you, Ms. Lewis, have you ever seen or found anything that makes you think mm. Mr. Weiss is cheating? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me about that. Oh, my goodness. You know how you have mirrors on your phone? Yeah. And you can put it on the TV? Yes. I'm in there cooking this man something to eat. Okay. I come out the room, he's snoring. I'm like, I'm gonna wake him up. I turn around, look at the TV. You know, I had a little picture in the corner. Yeah. I'm like, who is that? I'm like, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I go over to his phone, cut it on. His ex. Is on the, on the mirror of the, yes. on the TV he screen. He went to sleep and forgot to cut it off. Okay, so let me... Because I'm not quite as technologically advanced as some people. <laughs> so when you say the phone mirrors the TV, Yes, you can hit a button on there, and whatever's on your phone, you can watch it on your TV. Oh, when you have you know, it's TV. like the TV in our bedroom, and I can do I that with my phone. I don't pay attention to what you're doing with the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever he's doing on his phone shows up on the TV. Right. I submit it to the court. Now tell me you ain't seen that one. You ain't do that. That's right there. 
Proof okay. in the pudding, baby. So this was in your... This was in Mr. Weiss's phone. Right. And now, this who's is the what prime you, detective? And this is... And you found this after you saw the ex's picture up on the on your television. Yes. You go to the phone and pull it up, and this is what you found. That's right. And so Mr. Weiss writes, <laughs> love you, and then again writes, love you. And the ex says, right back at you. And then Mr. Weiss wants to know, do you love me? Mm-hmm. Uh, look at this. Nothing says Christmas like writing your ex December 25th at 1230. You wrote this on Christmas Day? I don't even remember. See? <laughs> Amnesia! Well, really, really. Okay, okay, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Really. Have you sent your ex any text messages saying, I love you? That's the question. Whether, you, whether it was December 25th or May 25th. I don't remember. You're over here fuming right Ooh, now. Oh, yeah, I see that. She's have you found anything vibrating. else? Have you found anything else that makes you think he's cheating? Oh, yes. What Talk else have you it. found? Well, one day I was putting some clothes in the drawer and I happened to move stuff around. Sexual enhanced pills. You saw sexual enhancement pills? Yes. In the drawer? Right. The first time I saw it, I didn't say nothing. I said, I'm going to catch him. So I went back in the drawer, put some more stuff in. One pack missing. Two pills in a pack. Well, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. When you first saw the pills... Oh, I didn't tell him about it. But, but why did you just assume that he was using with someone else? I mean, you he all sure are together. sure don't need them for us. <laughs> so you don't... We've had sex, and the pills were still in that drawer because I checked the same day. All right, all right. Mr. Weiss. Yeah. How about... <laughs> Please remember... Well, when she put them in the drawer... <laughs> He put them in the drawer. Okay. It, it was energy pills. It won't, it won't no Viagra. It won't nothing else. It was the, the energy pill where you buy off the shelf. So you're saying they weren't sexual enhanced, but they were energy pills. They was energy pills. And you did buy some energy pills. Yes. You didn't buy sexual enhanced with pills. No, I don't need that. And so you... <laughs> so how did she get them? Oh, wait a minute. I don't yeah. need that. <laughs> yeah. He ain't that old. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know, baby. Okay, so... I'm going to ask the hard question. Did you use those pills to be with another woman? No, I did not, Your Honor. That's what you're telling this court? Yes. And that's what you're telling Ms. Lewis? And that's what I'm telling her. All right, I think we got to know. What we have here is he's talking to sleep about big booties and exes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got it. We got an I love you text, and he said, I don't remember. And then we got these sexual slash energy pills that Ms. Lewis found. And he says, the only thing I'm doing is fishing. The question is, what kind of fish is he doing? Fish or women? And where is he fishing? <laughs> and where is he fishing? Miss Lewis has said, I'm done. I am too old for this foolishness. So if it comes back that he's cheating, I think she's gone. And we're about to find out because this court has done a full and complete investigation. We're going to call it this time certified polygraph examiner Kendall Show to determine, is he cheating? Kendall Shaw. Mr. Shaw, how are you today? I'm great, Your Honor. How are you? I'm doing good. Would you state for the court your credentials, please? I uh, spent almost 30 years with the FBI. I uh, spent my whole career in Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. And uh, when I retired, I moved to Knoxville, Tennessee began my own practice of PI and polygraph, and uh, I've done that now for almost 20 years. Now, you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Weiss, correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Weiss, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Lewis, have you used sexual energy pills with anyone other than Ms. Lewis? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being... deceptive, Your Honor. Mr. Weiss, first of all, let's clear it up. So is this one of those things you just don't remember? Because mm -hmm. you didn't remember uh, I, I, uh, telling your ex on Christmas Day that you loved her. I never used that, the, the peers with nobody else. Ms. Lewis, mm -hmm. you, you, you look like you're holding yourself up. Mm-hmm. I tried to show this man how much I love him. I took more crap off of him than I did any one of my ex-husbands. 
All right, let's find out about this question. Mr. Shul, you asked Mr. Weish, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Lewis, other than the one time she knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Lewis? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. So, so Mr. Weiss, let's, let's do it this way. It's time to come clean now. It's time to just cards on the table. I had never cheated on her or slept with another woman since the one she know about because I don't have time for that. I love this woman. I can't keep being hurt and lied to. All I ask is being honest. Why is it so hard for you to be faithful to me As when I, I am faithful to you?